Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. In last video, we have seen how we can install Postman and then we have seen basic thing like how to get all users, get by ID, post new user or create new user, update user and delete user using the API that is available freely req.res.in so now today what we will do we will add here test cases and we'll see that how we can check the response and validate on that so first thing is for let's say if we have here all users get all users API and we have here page number mentioned but let's say if I'll directly send it So we can see response, right? And in this response, first thing we wanted to check that whether we get the successful response or not. And for successful response, the response code should be 200, right? So for that, what we can do, you can see here to add a test case, right? Already given some, you know, helping things, snippet already. So a status code is 200. Suppose if I want to check, so it's already available. So we have to write here PM dot test a status code is 200 and then in response that we need to check PM dot response dot two dot have a status 200. So now if I will send again, then you will see the response here test result one hyphen one. That means one test case is passed successfully so suppose if I will change one right I mean 200 one that means here I am expecting 201 so it will say assertion fail because we wanted 200 I mean we wanted 201 but we got 200 so whatever expectation you have right you need to put it here this is one test case that you are expecting response code should be 200 so you can write here 200 similarly you will see here many different right response body contains this string right and and so on right so response header type right so header type you can just put it outside so wherever your cursor will be right if you suppose click here then it will generate all that so this is the next test case so we can have multiple test case and this is another test case that response header dot have body type right content type should be there so if you see the headers it's saying pm dot response dot two so pm response header right in this header if i can say uh, I, I wanted to check content type so you can see we have content type field available in header so this test case should also pass similarly in body right we have page number so if i'll say body contains a string so body match so now in response text in response complete text it will check so suppose if i write total pages so we have to put it here total pages so basically in response do we have total pages text available or not so this is another kind of test that we have now let's run it again so if you'll see all the three test cases passed successfully and this is the way you can add multiple test cases right even you if you want you can automate it right we have you can see this option here right you if you click here and just set up right so AI will help you to write test cases so you can just click on it and then say the test response so whatever response you get you can just test that response or you can say add more test case so if I'll just write here add more tests it's saying working on it and automatically it will add here multiple test cases so I'll just close it you can see here response has 
required fields right so whether required fields available or not data page page per page total data supports verify data array present in the response or not support so you can see these all things right automatically written i have not written any single line so ai will help you if you click on this icon let's send it and check so you can see all the seven test cases passed successful so all the basic api automation test case will be written automatically if you use postman latest version right so if you will go here I guess um, just install the latest version you will see you have to just go to the test case click on test and then here you will see AI automation so this is one thing that you can do and you can write test cases so I have included these test cases for all users right get all users similar thing I can do I can do for post users right so if you see here in post user I need to supply input that means in in the request body as a raw element and raw should be a type of JSON and in this one I am passing name and job if I will send request I will get response 201 now I need to validate this one whether the 201 available or not so I'll just click on tests and here basic thing you can add or if you just want to write automatically just click here and say add test to this to the response right so if you want response then you can check data length time within accepted content type right these things you can do or if you want something add so add documentation add test to the request right I'm just adding add test to the request so whatever request we are sending I want basic output and these things will vary based on your response right so you can say name job ID created at we get in response these four fields and the AI has written the test cases for that only if you send request you will see that all the five test cases passed first test case is response a status code 201 second response has required field name is non empty field that means in response body name should not be empty this is the one test case then job ID is non string and so on ID is non empty these all things is basically written here and if you will go and check in detail you will see that pm.expect response data dot name now what is this response data response data is basically available here pm.response.json right so if you write pm.response.json you will get the complete response complete response in this variable and then whatever thing you want to test you can do that along with that if you want to check the response manually or uh, you know wanted to check in console you can add here console.log and then response equal to right I wanted to check what is the exact data available in this variable so I can do this console.log and if I will run again so by default you will not see response equal to this one anywhere right so what you have to do you have to go to the bottom left corner and you can see here console option just click on it and in this console option you will see all the request or, or the logger is available so I have added here response equal to and then this is the response that we get from right so response equal to this whatever thing you will add here I have added here this thing one console right response so that thing you can see here this is one thing that I wanted to explain here and uh, in next video 
I'll show you how we can run multiple test cases at a time. Suppose if I need to perform load testing or I just wanted to run all the test cases at once. Right. So right now you have to click send request, send request for each item, each request type. But I want to run all together. Then how we will do that? We'll see this in next video.